in this video let us see how to draw the schematic of cmos and git for that click on file new schematic now here i want to place the components which are nothing but nmos and pmos so in order to place the component click on f2 so i want pmos so type here as pmos so i'm going for pmos 4 terminal device okay place it here so if you want to draw the schematic of CMOS AND gate, simply draw schematic of CMOS NAND gate and at the output place the NOT gate. So let me put a comment here. This is CMOS AND. So we are drawing CMOS AND. For that first I am drawing the schematic of NAND gate and at the output I will place the NOT gate. So as you know that CMOS NAND gate contains two inputs and one output which is y equal to a dot b whole bar so here the thing which you need to remember is dot means series plus means parallel so a dot b dot means series so in nmos they should be connected in series whereas in terms of pmos it should be connected in parallel so that's the reason i've placed these two pmoses in parallel now let me place nmos so again i'll go for nmos which is four terminal device and they should be connected in series Okay, done. I've placed two NMOS in series and PMOS in parallel. Now let me make the wiring. So here I'll take the output. So this is the schematic of CMOS NAND gate. Now at the output, I have to place the NOT gate, which contains one PMOS and one NMOS. So this is PMOS. Now let me place NMOS. And here I, I will take the output. So we know that AND gate contains two inputs and one output. So this V1 is for input A. V2 is for input B and this v3 for supply voltage vdd you can place the separate ground terminal if not you can connect it to the one which we have placed earlier so rename it this is a this is b simply right click on it and try to rename so right click this is vdd now place the label so here a which is input place it here similarly this is for b right click on it and rename it to b which is input again this is supply voltage vdd so it should be bidirectional so done it contains two inputs and one supply voltage which is vdd so i'll give supply voltage as 5 volt and for b i'll apply pulse so initial it will be zero and if it is on, it will be 1, which is nothing but 5 volt. Delay is 1 nanosecond. Rise time is 1 nanosecond. Fall time is 1 nano. I want on time period as 5 nanoseconds. And uh, time period should be 10 nano. Okay, I have given the input for B. Now let me give it for A. Again, right click on it. Click on advanced. Go to pulse. Here it is 0 again, 5. Now on time period, I'll give us 10 nano. This is 20 nano. Okay, I'm done with the two inputs and one supply voltage. So here I have to give some label. So let me extend some wire here. Similarly, I want ground. So click on label. A is input. Similarly, another input is B. And here this point is VDD. This one is ground. Simply place this ground. And here I'll take the output which is Y. So this is my schematic for CMOS and GET. This first part is NAND and output. I will try to complement it by means of a NOT GET. 
and here one more thing that we have missed is as it is a four terminal device for pmos this body should be connected to source and for nmos also this body should be connected to source which is nothing but ground and here it is nothing but supply this should be connected to ground okay i'm done with the connections now let me simulate this one click on simulate run and i'm going for transient analysis i'll give stop time as 100 nanoseconds arrange the screen properly click on window click on tile vertical so that side by side you can see the screen now i want input as a b and output is y so i want three plots so right click add plot pane and one more so first one i'll give it for a second one is for b next y so simply click on this plot and click on the place where you want to see the output so you can see this red color marker here so click on y so that this is the output so for this particular cmos and gate schematic this is the waveform which we got now let us try to analyze this one so if you observe here this green color one is for input a blue is for b and red is for output y so 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 0 is 0 next 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 again 1 into 1 is 1 so this is satisfying the truth table of cmos and git so our circuit is working fine so this is the schematic of cmos and git now let me show you how to print this particular schematic for that click on file click on print preview so let me zoom it so i want to print this particular schematic click on print choose the location where you want to save i'll give name for this as cmos and lt spice click on save and before that save this particular schematic file save as give the same name again cmos and lt spice so here we are saving the schematic and earlier we have saved it in the form of pdf okay similarly save this waveform also click on file save plot settings as cmos and lt spice waveform click on save now if you want to print this one click on file print preview this is a waveform click on print choose the location where you want to save it so it is cmos and lt spice waveform click on save so this is how we do simulation of any particular schematic and we analyze the waveform thank you